OntarioLocal.com here with J.P. Yosiasa from the Peterborough Speedway, promoter up there at that track. And we were there for Autumn Colors Classic. You have a neat little track there in Peterborough. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we worked very hard on the, the whole facility and on that event. It's uh, actually this year will be 19th running of the Autumn Colors Classic, and it's uh, it's come a long way. And I took it over. I think the eighth annual Autumn Colors was just over, so I've uh, we've put quite a few under our belt, and we've done a lot of changes to make it what it is now. A very successful event. A lot of cars in the pit area. I mean, you had to expand the pit area, and the crowd was jam packed. It has to be an exciting weekend for you, and and gratifying as well. It is. It's. Uh, no, it's, re it's really nice to see when it all comes together. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. We Actually, we started on this year's Autumn Colors probably a month after the last one was over. And uh, there's a lot of planning, a lot of logistics that go behind it. And, you know, the month leading up to it, we pretty well, all we do is prepare for that event. I mean, we're still running regular events then, but it's, uh, you know, it's become... It's become so much more than just a race weekend. It's, you know, people plan their holidays around it, and it's... Uh, yeah, it's it's really nice to see that it, it pays off when you all the effort that you put into it. One of the compliments we hear from a lot of drivers is that you care about them, you take uh, their considerations into thought when you make decisions. And uh, I'm sure a lot of that goes back to the fact that you're a competitor as well. Uh, you seem to have that understanding side to you. Uh, do you like to, to, to listen to the drivers and take in their feedback? Is that just part of your philosophy? It just, yeah, it's just part of my philosophy. It's... Um, it's a gaining. My parents have always owned their own businesses too, and stuff. And you know, if you don't take consideration the input from other people, it's you know, then uh, I'm not sure where it would go. Um, you know, a lot of people in racing they just like, you know, racing is called sort of a dictatorship some days. And but at the same time, like you know, I think if somebody has a concern or just problem, you know, we'll listen to it, and there might be some validity in it. You know, and I'll tell them straight up. I says, you know, sometimes I said, you know. You're right, but unfortunately, this is the way the rule is, and that's the way it's going to go. But, you know, still at the end of the day, if they know that if they have a concern, they can voice it, and hopefully we can do something about it. Sometimes we can't do something about it, but at least, you know, <clears throat> it's like I would say, you know, people, if you come out there, as long as you feel that you're all being treated equally and you all have a fair shot at it, then that's a long way. You might, some people might not like rules that we put in place for the event, but... You know, at the end of the day, it's to try and keep the competition equal and give everybody, you know, an equal shot at it. Now, the Canadian Motorsport Expo is kind of an unofficial start off to the 2011 season, but taking a look at your schedule coming up, what are some of the big events that you're looking forward to, aside from the Autumn Colors? Um, we're doing the chase for the colors once again. Um, it's on... Uh, this is a bad thing. It's in the schedule here. I put one up. <laughs> Um, Chase for the getting on. I was the Chase for Colors. Um, 100 lap late model race. Thunders are there. Um, it's a pre qualifier for the colors, and it's just something. The top three finishers get a provisional start for the autumn colors, so. And uh, we changed it last year. It's the top three finishers in attendance at the autumn colors have the provisional. Um, Nobody's had to use it yet, but it's nice to have that, you know, ace up your sleeve. Uh, they chose again on the August long weekend and Labor Day long weekend. You know, they always put on some entertaining racing for the fans. Um, and uh, we've done a twist on August the 14th. We're doing a Sunday show just to try something different. We're not running on the Saturday night. We're going to do Sunday, and we added the Thunders to that night also. Um... And besides that, all, just our, all our regular stuff, uh, you know, the endurance races, all those events. Uh, it just, you know, we do a really, we're in the entertainment business, so I'm always trying to give a good variety, different touring series. Uh, Lucas Oil Sportsman Cup is in August the 6th for a 100-lap race, you know, just to try to give fans, you know, a lot of different choices out there to, to watch. Now, for a fan that's never been to Peterborough, maybe describe the experience, what they should expect, and uh, also how can they get in well, in contact, um, our website, peterrowspeedway.com. Um, email addresses are on there for links. Also, uh, you know, they can call the Speedway office, uh, which is 705-743-5880. Um, 
unfortunately we're not there in the winter sitting in the snow but we do check the messages regularly so we will get back to you um, and if they've never been to Peterborough it's um, I've always sort of nicknamed it it's uh, you know Canada's little Br Bristol um, it's a driver's track uh, horsepower is not the key thing out there driving skill is and because of that it makes for some really exciting racing um, you know there's some bumping there's some banging you might have to spin somebody to get a win some nights but which has happened at the autumn colors too <laughs> um, but it's uh, and besides that you know we have some some really good food concessions just uh, we, we're putting in a playground for the kids and you know we're always trying to do something for the fans at intermission so they're gonna come out there if they've never been they're gonna be entertained because you know it's we try to cater to you know from young to old and uh, do whatever we can all right thanks JP check it out peterboroughspeedway.com I can testify the food is great at Peterborough Speedway probably my favorite this year on the track tour we went on but uh, again check them out peterboroughspeedway.com you're watching Ontarioloval.com